Are there, Marcel, and we are ready to go. This is going to be a big one, if nothing else but for pride. But for Kavia, it's a chance of jumping up the championship order. For Nielsen, it's a chance to announce himself on to the European main stage. That's what's at stake here. Well, I mean, look, if Nielsen takes down Kavia now, he just took down a man who was on the podium at the last round. Here we go, through the gears, down through the chicane they come. Nielsen leads in to Arne Kavia. Nielsen goes for a little flick across the track. Nice initiation. Kavia, though, you couldn't even see the car. He was on that much angle on the inside as Kavia dangerously transitions up onto the side of Arne Nielsen's Tuella Tora. They come through past the grandstand. Kavia is on a flyer. Nielsen and Kavia go wide. Kavia almost takes a back end on the Tora. They both get into the final outside zone. Kavia's glued to his fellow Norwegian's door. Take it down, pull the cameras out, it's done. That's it, you're never going to see a better chase run. You're never going to see a better chase run in Riga. That's it, forget about it. Where did Kavir go on initiation? Yeah. The Finnish fans are taking the flags off, they're pulling the Put Norwegian, Norwegian, ones Norwegian off. flags out of the bag. Where did he go on initiation? Look at this. He disappeared. He's gone, like a, he's like a Houdini. He's a magician. That is, watch the transitions Kavir pulls off here. This is at big speed now. Everywhere on that circuit, right here, watch this transition for Kavia. Didn't back off. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. That and, then, is... and then you think, back off now, Kavia. No. Boom. Burn. Straight through, through the again. smoke. This is at over 100 kilometers an hour at any point here. Or on Nielsen. Forget about it. There's no coming back from that. But Nielsen's got to go for it. He's got to go nuts here. He's going to have to. This could be a crash. Oh, this, this could, could this be a could crash. This could be a crash. Take a breath, ladies and gentlemen. We are going back at it again. Kavia, Nielsen, and Nielsen's coming off the line way ahead of Kavia here. He wants it. Yeah, he wants it. He knows he needs to run in. He knows Kavia's fast. Here they go down. Look at this. Oh, both guys wandering and wavering across the track. Nielsen now goes for it. Nielsen's on the door. Nielsen's repaying the favour. He transitions before Kavia. Kavia is on an absolute flyer of a lead line. They transition back, but Nielsen's still there. They both waver down on the outside zone. Oh, wow! Nielsen is there with him. Can Nielsen get back on the door? Nielsen goes onto the door. Kavir is on the wall. Ladies and gentlemen, you are witnessing something you have never witnessed before. A sport at its peak, drivers at its peak. You're witnessing the best in the world right now. I took a look across as they came around that last corner. I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't check out the very last bit of it. You know why? Because there was three judges over there with their mouths on the ground. That is the best battle I've seen in Riga I think I've ever seen. That is one of the best he battles. Hit him he hit him at 140k him. and they stayed in it. And Nielsen done exactly what Kavir did. The only, the only part to pick away from that day. Look, Kavir's got three wheeling past the grandstand. Don't need two front wheels, Dave. One's enough. This is the only part. This is the only part. The, the proximity on the final outside zone for me. Kavir dominated it. Oran Nielsen just made an, a glitch of an error. Unbelievable. Two friends, two comrades, two countrymen. One goes through to the top four. And it's a oh one more time. Oh, my God. I don't have enough energy for a one I more time. I can't do this. I would like a small recess.